Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to show you how to create landscapes like this, um, well at least get the base landscape, to create really cool images that are actually location based. Um, so like this one is of Maui, um, these are of the mountains above Boulder, Colorado. Um, you can pick literally anywhere in the world and you will be able to make landscapes that look like that. Um, so we're going to start here. Um, at this awesome Tangrabs height mapper. Um, don't worry, I'm gonna put the URL in the description. Um, all right, so we click here, and we wait for it to load a little bit. Um, and I, today, I think I'm interested, again, in Boulder. So we get Boulder, Colorado, and what's really awesome about this is, obviously, you can zoom out, um, you can zoom in. It takes a second to load, obviously. Um, but you get this really nice view of, we're coming down into Denver, of all sorts of places. Um, yeah. So obviously the white, or not so obviously, I guess, the white part is going to be the highest part on your map, and the black is going to be the lowest elevation. So just keeping that in mind. Um, so we can export this image. I think I want to make it a little bit wider. Um, and there's no reason, knowing that black and white equal different heights, there's no reason that you can't take this into Photoshop or Illustrator and draw on top of it to create interesting um, images or anything like that. Um, so think about that and think about experimenting. So we're going to save this image. Um, I've already named something Boulder today, so we're going to name it Boulder 2. Awesome. It's downloaded. Cool. All right. So now that you've picked out your area, um, put it in Photoshop, put it in Illustrator, whatever, you're going to go into Cinema and you go to your Object tab and click Relief. So obviously nothing shows up yet, but that's because you have to add your file. So we're going to go here and add our file, um, Boulder 2. Beautiful. That's good. All right. And you say yes. And I have this sort of interesting looking little guy. This doesn't really give me that much information. And as you can see, it's uh, made a square ratio out of this thing, which is not at all what I want. So I'm going to do the width at 1200. This is all something that you can experiment with too. And I'm sure people are a little bit more precise than I am when it comes to this, but I just, yeah just not quite there and don't really care because I think it ultimately will look how I want it to once I experiment um, and see how the black part was obviously like flatter land compared to these mountains. Um, and I can change the height here and make really dramatic peaks, which I find really interesting. And then where it gets even more interesting is when you can go in and add width segments and depth segments. So, Going in here, I like to crank it all the way up because you get all of the beautiful like rivets and depth and awesomeness. It looks really spiky though, which may not exactly be what you want. This comes down to experimentation and figuring out, all right, what does this look like? Does this look bad? Do I think this is okay? Um, and that's something that you're gonna have to experiment with on your own. Um, so yeah, just coming in here. And how I got some of those images was really just getting up inside of this model and being like, all right, so where's Boulder Canyon? Where are these places that I'm familiar with? And just playing with that and playing with lighting and playing with Vantage and really just experimenting. So this is all I'm going to give you um, for this tutorial. I think that there's a lot to be done with it, a lot to experiment with. So um, yeah, start there and we'll do a follow-up tutorial to show you about materials and lighting and stuff like that. But for now, play with this, experiment with this and figure out what your special landscape looks like. All right, thanks.